Hey everybody, John with Vinyl here. Uh, today, for our Friday video, we're talking about Vinyl Gear. And we're going to take a look at the Denon DP29F turntable. This is Denon's entry-level um, turntable. It's, it's still offered on their website, although currently it's out of stock. But it is a, still a current model. So we're going to take a look at it. I'll tell you what I like about it. Tell you what I kind of don't like about it. And then give you a, kind of a sum up at the end to see, uh, to let you know if it's something that you should consider. So, finally Friday, here we go. So the Denon DP29F is Denon's entry-level turntable. Retails for about $199. It's belt-driven and fully automatic. So here's what we've got. Two speeds for 33 and 45 here push button no options for 78s if you have some old 78s laying around and you want to play them this one is not for you uh, it does come with a 45 adapter here nice little storage area for that and here we've got a speed selector a size selector switch sorry about that for your 33 or your 45s down here basically two buttons start and stop and that's what it's got <laughs> um, there are no adjustments for uh, tracking um, force or anti-skate or anything like that. This is a very, very automatic turntable. You put your record on, you push start, it'll start playing. When it's done, it'll reset and turn itself off. Um, I did test the anti-skate which is solid I'll show you that in a minute and I tested the tracking force which is also within spec so let me go through a few things here one more thing I want to show you on the back here on the back of the unit you can see that the power cord here is hardwired in and as is the audio cable here hardwired in comes with a, a grounding plug or a grounding wire and left and right RCA red and white RCAs again hardwired into the unit the DP 29 F does come with a built-in preamp so all you have to do is plug this into some powered speakers and you are good to go the way you access the preamp switch is underneath the mat right here you can turn the preamp on or off. If you wanted to use an external preamp, you would connect that. You would uh, turn that off. And if you want to use the built-in preamp and go straight into an amplifier for or powered speakers, uh, then you would keep that turned on. The belt is here. Kind of a standard belt situation. Um, this one is uh, a little on the thin side, but um, so far in my testing, it's been just fine. So because this unit does not have any adjustments that you can make, it's important that it's set correctly from the factory. So the tracking force, which is the amount of force the needle exerts downward on your albums, should be at 3.5 grams for this particular model. And uh, in using my handy dandy uh, arm load meter, I measured it at 3.6. So that is well within spec. Um, on the uh, on the uh, tracking force as far as anti-skate goes I'll just go ahead and, and turn it on here push the start button it automatically moves the, tr the arm into position there we go nice and solid skate of course is the tendency for the for the unit to uh, or for the arm to drift in or out if it's exerting force uh, centripetal force or centrifugal force um, in or out this should be nice and solid and it is not moving at all so there's no adjustment for anti-skate or tracking force but both of these are set pretty solidly at the factory by the way I'm using a um, push the stop button and it will stop and I'm using an anti-skate disc here but you don't have to use one of these 
any disc without grooves will be fine especially if you've got an old laser disc those are great for this but i, I picked this one up uh from amazon it was it was relatively cheap and so was the meter by the way one other thing i do want to point out on this unit is the hinges the dust cover hinges dust cover feels pretty solid the hinges also feel pretty solid with metal springs in there they, they come out easily they come out from the unit pretty easily also go back in pretty easily those of you who have um, certain other models of turntables will know that the hinges typically are a weak point uh, they will break um, the plastic in there will break or they'll break off in, inside of the um, the receptacle on the top or on the bottom these this one feels pretty solid to be honest with you I wouldn't I'm not worried too much about this dust cover on the 29 F so to test the consistency of the unit and the revolutions per minute I use an app on my phone and I tested the app on another turntable that has a strobe so that I know that term turntable is exactly right and the app confirmed that the app is running correctly as well so these numbers are accurate so this turntable at the 33 and a third setting is actually at 33.73 which is 1.2 percent high and the wow and flutter is at 0.23 and the stated wow and flutter for this unit should be 0.15 so a little bit high on both of those readings not a huge deal breaker it's pretty close but it's just a little bit high same for the 45 speed. We're actually at 1.33% high on the 45s. And uh, well, and Flutter went down just a little bit to 0.22. Overall, these readings are not bad for a very entry-level automatic turntable. So let's sum it up. The Denon 29F runs about $200, $199 on the Denon website right now. It's, uh, it's the current model. And what I like about it is... It is a fully automatic turntable in the $200 range. So if you're looking for a fully automatic turntable in the $200 range, this is a good option. Um, it is very, very simple, very plug and play, built in preamp, plug it in, connect it to your speakers, power speakers or an amplifier, and push start when you want to play your record, push stop when you want it to end. Very, very simple, um, not complicated at all. Um, so that so that is a plus. Uh, the stats are pretty good. It's pretty solid as far as performance goes, uh, as far as you know tracking force and anti skate and um, and um, RPMs and wow and flutter is a little bit high. But other than that, it's a pretty solid turntable. There's not a lot of of really good options in that two hundred dollar range. You can go super cheap. Um, uh, there is a there is the Fluence uh, RT81 that is right around $200 if you want to spend, you know, I think it's maybe 220 bucks or something like that. If you want to go that way, you you could it might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a higher higher quality than than this one, but overall, this is not a bad turntable. Now, the minuses same as the pluses in some ways. There's no adjustments here. It is what it is. So if it ever falls out of adjustment, there's really nothing you can do about it. Number two, I don't love that all of the wiring is hardwired in. The power cord, the, um, the audio connection is all hardwired in. If anything happens to that cable, you're going to have to get it fixed or fix it yourself. You can't just unplug it and put a new one in. Uh, I like that. I like to have that option. For me personally, I like to have that option. I also like to have more uh, adjustments. So again, over 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 its lifespan, as it falls out of adjustment, you can keep it up to spec. Another somewhat of a downside is that you can replace the needle on this, but it does not have that universal head shell connection. So you have to actually take the needle off and replace it with specific needle that is meant meant to fit this tone arm. Uh, it, it doesn't have uh, the very simple. Uh, connection the very simple connection but also this is a way to save a little bit of money because you're not going to buy a whole new head shell for this so uh, if you want to change the needle your options are limited but there are options so that's to me that's possibly another downside so bottom line if you're looking for a fully automatic um, no muss no fuss turntable the 29f is an option for you 
If you want to spend a little bit more money to get a few more options and a few more adjustment options, you can do that. Uh, or you can also look on the pre-owned market and get some uh, some pretty solid turntables from the 70s and 80s in that same $200 range. But uh, if you want something new that is fully automatic, um, this is this is a real option for you, the Denon 29F. And that's it for this Friday's video. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you like seeing videos like this, please like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. Um, and whether you like and subscribe or not, I hope you have a great day.